Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of finance and technology. Today, we're going to be talking about a topic that has been on everyone's minds, cryptocurrency versus traditional finance. With the rise of Bitcoin and other digital assets, it's become increasingly clear that the future of finance is changing. But how do these new technologies compare to the traditional financial systems we've been using for centuries? Let's dive in and find out. Let's start with the basics. Traditional finance refers to the systems and institutions that we've been using for centuries to manage our money. This includes things like banks, stock markets, and government-issued currencies. While these systems have been reliable for a long time, they do come with some downsides. For one, they are heavily centralized, meaning that they are controlled by a select few individuals or institutions. This can lead to problems with corruption, as we've seen in recent financial crises. Additionally, traditional finance is slow and inefficient, with high transaction fees and long wait times. Now, let's take a look at cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is a decentralized digital currency that uses cryptography to secure transactions and control the creation of new units. It operates outside of traditional financial institutions and is instead maintained by a decentralized network of computers. One of the biggest advantages of cryptocurrency is its security. Since it is decentralized, there is no central point of failure that can be exploited by hackers or other bad actors. Additionally, Transactions are processed much faster and with much lower fees than in traditional finance. So, what are the advantages and disadvantages of these two systems? Let's break it down. One of the biggest advantages of traditional finance is its stability. While it may not be perfect, it has been around for centuries and has proven to be reliable. Additionally, traditional finance is regulated, which means that there are protections in place to prevent fraud and abuse. On the other hand, cryptocurrency is much more secure and efficient than traditional finance. Transactions can be processed much faster and with much lower fees, and there is no central point of failure that can be exploited by hackers. In conclusion, both traditional finance and cryptocurrency have their advantages and disadvantages. While traditional finance may be more stable and regulated, it is also slow and inefficient, with high transaction fees and a high risk of corruption. Cryptocurrency, on the other hand, is much more secure and efficient, but it is also still a relatively new technology that is not yet widely adopted. As the world of finance continues to evolve, it will be interesting to see how these two systems continue to compete and evolve. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more great content, and let us know in the comments which system you prefer, traditional finance or cryptocurrency. Thanks for watching.